friends, welcome to our channel Goldstar Academy. In this class, we will talk about 8th standard chemistry matter around us la book back questions. Tha, Choose the best answer. The liquid metal used in thermometers is dash. The liquid metal used in thermometers is mercury. The pictorial symbol for water given by the alchemist was the inverted tri triangle option C. Which one of the following element name is not derived from planet? Not derived from planet it is mercury. The symbol of mercury is dash. The symbol of mercury is Hg. Then a form of non-metal which has high ductility is dash. Non-metal which has high ductility is carbon. The property which allows the metal to be hammered into thin sheets is called as malleability. So, malleability means you can make it into thin sheets. The non-metal which conducts electric current is dash. The non-metal which conducts electric current is carbon. Next question. Pencil lead contains dash. Pencil lead contains graphite. Identify the state of matter based on the arrangement of the molecules. Um, picture A, so molecules are distributed and picture B, molecules are tightly packed and picture C, molecules are loosely packed. So now A is for gas and B is for solid and C is for liquid. Okay. Next question, fill in the blanks. The element which possess the character of both metals and non-metals are called dash. It is metalloids. The symbol of tungsten is W. W means tung tungsten. The melting point of most metal is dash than non-metal. So, melting point of metals are higher than non-metals. Water contains dash and dash elements. Water contains hydrogen and oxygen. Dash is used as a semiconductor. Silicon or germanium is used as semiconductor. Okay. Both are metalloids. Match the following. Iron, sewing needle, copper for making wires, tungsten, making the filament of a bulb, boron as a fuel for ignition in rocket. So, we will see the next matching. Atom. Atom is a building block of matter. Element. Element is atoms of the same kind. Compound means atoms of different kinds. Then module. Module is the smallest unit of a substance. Next very short answers Patala. What is ductility? Metals can be drawn into thin wires. This property of metals is called ductility. Example copper wires. Give two examples for metalloids. Boron and silicon. Silicon is the best example for metalloids and germanium is also a metalloid. Write the constituent elements and their symbols for the following compounds. Carbon monoxide and washing soda. Carbon monoxide is the compound and it the, the symbol of carbon monoxide is CO. The constituent elements are carbon and oxygen. Then washing soda is a compound. The symbol is Na2CO3 washing soda Na2CO3. The constituent elements are sodium, carbon and oxygen. Sodium, carbon, oxygen. Next, write the symbols for these elements. Oxygen, gold, calcium, cadmium and iron. Okay. So, Oxygen symbol is O, gold symbol is AU, for silver symbol is AG, calcium symbol is CA, cadmium symbol is CD, 
iron symbol is fe ferrum iron ferrum fe name two soft metals that can be cut with a knife you can cut it with a knife soft metals sodium na and potassium k are the soft metals these metals can be cut with a knife which non metal is essential for our life and all living things being inhaled during breathing yes we all know this oxygen is essential for our life and all living beings inhale it during breathing why are bells made of of metals on being hit metals produce a typical sound they are said to be sonorous this property is being made used in making bells mention any three compounds that exist in liquid state liquid state compounds water hydrochloric acid nitric acid next one what does a chemical symbol represent a chemical symbol is a shorthand method of representing an element symbol of an element signifies name of the element one atom of the element for example the symbol o stands for the element of oxygen one atom of oxygen so o stands for oxygen one atom of oxygen write three properties of metalloids metalloids are solid at room temperature they can form alloys with other metals some metalloids such as silicon and germanium can act as electrical conductors under specific conditions thus they are called semiconductors silicon for example appears lustrous but it is not malleable nor ductile it is brittle where brittleness is a characteristics of non metals it is a much poorer conductor of heat and electricity than metals they can conduct electricity only under specific conditions okay next answer briefly can you store pickle in an aluminium utensil give reason so pickle ellame veetla vandu pathina ceramic jars la dhan store panni vechirupanga or glass jars la vandu store panni irupanga so what is the reason for it no we cannot store the lemon pickle in aluminium utensil because aluminium is a metal and lemon is acidic the acid react with metals to give hydrogen which would spoil the food and makes it unfit to use so we cannot store pickle in a aluminium utensil okay tabulate the four points of difference between metals and non metals shall we see property metal non metal metals are usually solid whereas non metals can be solid liquid or gas then malleability property metals are good malleable non metals are poor malleable they are usually soft or brittle ductile property metals are good they are very uh, ductile in nature whereas non metals are poor in ductile they are usually soft or brittle then boiling point boiling point of metals are usually higher than non metals for non metals usually lower boiling point than metals define tensile strength metals have the capacity to withstand strain without breaking this property is called tensile strength it is a property that was the use of iron for the construction of railway tracks okay next question why are the utensils made up of aluminium and brass the cooking utensils are made up of aluminium and brass because they are good conductors of heat Aluminium will form a layer of protective oxide uh, that prevents further reaction. Aluminium is also relatively cheap and that is why it is used widely in making utensils. 
define alchemy alchemy was form of chemistry studied in the middle age which was concerned with trying to discover ways to change ordinary metals into gold name the elements for following symbols na sodium w tungsten ba barium al aluminium u uranium okay name six common non metals and write their symbols common non metals and write their symbols sulfur s carbon c oxygen o hydrogen h helium he nitrogen n okay mention any four compounds and their uses so we'll see the compounds uses and i have also mentioned their chemical name and constituent also water the chemical name is dihydrogen monoxide constituents hydrogen and oxygen main uses for drinking and used as a solvent then table salt is also called sodium chloride sodium and chlorine are the constituents the essential component of our daily diet preservative for meat and fish sugar chemical name is sucrose and constituents are carbon hydrogen and oxygen the uses are preparation of sweets toffees and fruit juices baking soda the chemical name is sodium bicarbonate constituents are sodium hydrogen carbon oxygen the uses are fire extinguisher preparation of baking powder and preparation of cakes and bread okay next question mention the uses of the following compounds baking soda bleaching powder quick lime and washing soda okay so we'll see all that baking soda sodium bicarbonate sodium hydrogen carbon oxygen are the constituents the uses are fire extinguisher preparation of baking powder and preparation of cakes and bread then washing soda chemical name is sodium carbonate and constituents are sodium carbon and hydrogen the uses are you cleaning agent in soap and softening of hot water bleaching powder calcium oxychloride it's a chemical name of bleaching powder and the constituents are calcium oxygen and chlorine it is used as a bleaching agent disinfectant and sterilization of drinking water quick lime quick lime the chemical name is calcium oxide and the constituents are calcium and oxygen the uses are manufacturing of cement and glass give reason give reasons for the following aluminum foils are used to wrap food items the reason is aluminum is malleable soft and does not react with food items so it is used to wrap food items next question immersion rods for heating liquids are made up of metallic substances the reason metals are good conductor of heat and electricity so immersion rods are made up of metallic substances next question a doctor prescribed a tablet to a patient suffering from iron deficiency the tablet does not look like iron what is the reason the reason is it doesn't look like iron iron tablets does not contain iron metal rather it contains iron salts like ferrous sulfate ferrous citrate etc next question sodium and potassium are stored in kerosene why the reason sodium and potassium are very reactive they react with air and water so they are stored in kerosene okay they are highly reactive so they are stored in kerosene 
Mercury is used in thermometers, not only in thermometer, in barometers, pigma manometers, we use this mercury. The reason is mercury is used in thermometers and barometers because of its high density and uniform expansion at different temperature. Okay. Next question, why wires cannot be drawn from materials such as stone or wood? The reason is wires cannot be made from materials such as stone or wood because they do not possess the property of malleability. Wooden, stone or non-metals and they cannot conduct electricity. The liquid, these are all some extra questions. Okay. The liquid metal at room temperature is dash. The only liquid metal at room temperature is mercury. The non-metal which is liquid at room temperature is dash. The non-metal which is liquid at room temperature is bromine. Next question. True or false? Sodium is a hard metal. False. Because sodium is a soft metal. It can be cut with the knife. We have already seen this. Antimony has the highest tensile strength. False. The correct statement is tungsten has the highest tensile strength. Next question, which metal has the highest ductility? Highest ductility is platinum. Platinum has the highest ductile metal. Okay, why do metals appear shiny? Why do metals appear shiny? The typical shine of metals is called as metallic luster. All metals have typical metallic luster. An exception is calcium. Okay. That's all friends. Book back questions. Ella me paathu video paanga easy a paadinge. Namma channel subscribe paanga. Thank you.